diapering. Do you want to use disposable diapers or cloth diapers? I'm gonna show you my pretty minimalist cloth slash disposable diaper system and tell you how I have done it and how it's worked best for my three kids so far and what I'm planning for this one that's coming soon. So I do a combination of disposable and cloth diapering. My motto or my, I guess my theory with it is if my laundry is caught up, if the baby is happy and I'm not having to wake it up or it's not waking me up to be changed in the middle of the night, we use cloth as much as possible. I use disposable diapers as needed with no guilt whatsoever. I will link down below, but I more use the cloth diapers as a way to cut my cost in disposables as much as possible. And you can see, I just keep this all in my nightstand. I have two nightstands and I cleared out one for baby's clothes and I have one for all the diapering stuff. And so that's what I use, um, it works for me. And then I keep another little downstairs. I have like a little caddy with just a few cloth diapers and a few disposable diapers, wipes, and um, a little wet bag. These are different brands of natural diapers. So this is Earth and Eden. It's been a while since I've used diapers because my youngest right now is almost seven and this is mama bear. So I'm gonna try a few different natural brands and let you know what I like. Both of these, I do at least like the feel so far. I don't like the perfumed ones. I don't like the ones that feel like they kind of catch on your skin. And then I have water wipes. So this is my disposable diaper stuff. And then for cloth diapering, cloth diapering does have more things that go with it. These are cloth wipes which are, these are just baby washcloths from Target. These are actual cloth wipes that will grip a little bit better. I'll link to these down below so that you can see what I use. And so my kind of method for when baby needs to be changed is first of all, the first couple days I use disposables because they have that meconium poop that's like tar. And not only do you wanna use disposables, you wanna put baby oil on their butts <laughs> before you put the clean diaper on to, because that first poop is just like, it is so hard to get off that you want as much protection. Definitely, I would not want to ruin my cloth diapers or try to get it out of cloth diapers. So I use disposable diapers for the first couple days with um, disposable wipes and baby oil on the, on the baby's butt. But after we've kind of recovered a little bit, um, baby starts having breast milk poop, which usually looks yellow. It washes out super, super easy. So then my routine for changing the baby is figure out the baby needs to be changed, which happens quite often. And I will grab like three of these and I just throw them in the sink and I start running warm, warm water over them. So I just, when I'm using cloth wipes, I just use water and I put out a blankie. If I'm upstairs, I lay it on my bed. If I'm downstairs, I just lay it on the floor and I change my babies on the floor. I've had changing tables in the past and I just ended up changing my babies on the floor more often anyway. So I put down a blanket. I put down another blanket <laughs> to protect in case we get stuff off. And so these are like the thinner ones that are easier to wash. They're just gonna go through the wash and you probably have like a million little swaddle blankets. So I put down one to protect the blanket that's underneath. And then this is more to like, just in case it goes all the way through so it doesn't go into my bedspread or it doesn't go onto the floor, but we don't wash this one nearly as often. And so I put baby on the blanket, either on my bed where you're obviously keeping a hand on your baby or on the floor where you don't have to worry about them rolling off. <laughs> and, and I get the washcloth wet in the sink. I squeeze them out, like stick it up in a corner away from baby, and then I change them. And so I, my favorite cloth diapers, which I have them all in this bottom drawer here, are just little snap covers, and I will link to these down below. Um, I have a few different brands in here. They're, these are poles, so they're waterproof. I like Snap instead of Velcro because the Velcro, sometimes it startles the babies. I think this was especially my first. She did not like the sound of Velcro. I personally don't like the sound of Velcro and I don't like the feel of it. So I prefer Snaps. And then once babies like wiggle in a lot, Snaps hold better. And then I also use pre-folds. And so this is like the tiniest size. These are perfect for cleaning up burp, like spit up. These are perfect for um, cloth diapering. They're perfect for cleaning up messes all over the place. They're perfect dust rags. Um, pre-folds are cheap. And because there is no waterproof layer in them, they wash out super easily. So I like this system because it dries quickly, it washes easily, and it's inexpensive. So to do that, you just put fold a pre-fold into thirds. There's little lines. Stick it in your cover. 
And then that right there is perfect for baby. If you end up using a few disposable wipes instead of always using these, you can wash your disposable wipes and they come out just like dryer sheets. So you can wash and dry them and then throw them away instead of having to deal with like trash and cloth diapers. If they've just peed in it, you can just take this out, put it in your wet bag and then put a new one in. If it's super saturated or they've gotten poop up on the cover, then I just take the whole thing like that, stick it in my wet bag. This is made out of the same material as diaper covers are. And I actually hang this on a doorknob, <laughs> either in the laundry room or upstairs in my room. I hang it on the doorknob and you have your diapers in your wet bag. I wash these probably every other day. That's what I aim to do. So then you put the clean one on the baby. These, after they've been used, they go right in the wet bag as well. And so then to wash this, to wash diaper laundry, there's a lot of drama in the diaper community. So if you go on Facebook groups, don't be surprised if there's like approved wash routines and stuff. I actually just like do a soak cycle in my washer on cold. You wanna completely dump this out into the washer. Don't like put it in, in the bag, but you dump it out in the washer, do a soak cycle, throw your bag in as well, and then I run it through one cycle, do extra rinses, um, use your normal amount of detergent, and then I run it through a second cycle if needed. And so I'll run the first cycle, like the soak is cold, then I run hot. And so that's it. Cloth diapering is, it's fun. It saves money for sure. Whether you're just using it to cut your cost of disposables or you're using it to help the environment or you're using it because your baby is super sensitive. A lot of times just that cotton is so much better for their tushies. So that is my super quick introduction to cloth diapering, how I do it. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing. I actually, I got these used on Marketplace, but I will link down below to where you can buy them new if you want to. Covers and pre-folds are definitely my preferred way of diapering. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd love to answer you and make more videos if you need more step-by-step -step instructions. This is just kind of an overview. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out my book, The Empowered Mother, where we talk about everything from cloth diapering to baby shoes to vaccines to different decisions you make during pregnancy. I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye.